Hi everyone, for today's video, it's all about the new Bobbi Brown Weightless Skin Foundation with an SPF of 15. I'm going to share details with you. We're gonna do multiple methods of application. We're gonna put it to the test and give it a full day wear test. So, let's hydrate and begin. See your best skin and not makeup. That's what Barbara Brown is telling me, so I'm telling you. <laughs> now this is a formula that's years in the making and it's rooted in the skin first approach to beauty. Bobby Brown wanted to create a long wear without heaviness, oil control without dryness, and coverage that would enhance without hiding what we love about our skin. Weightless Skin Foundation checks all of the boxes. Bobby Brown sent us some goodies, and that includes two shades for us to check out, try out, and I'll share them with you. We'll do swatches, all the things of the new Weightless Skin Foundation. So this promises us 24 hours of moisture, 24 hour wear for a natural matte finish that looks and feels like your best skin. It's formulated with smart skin balancing technology. It controls oil all day without stripping skin and delivers medium coverage that feels comfortable and breathable. This is available in 53 undertone correct shades and designed for a range of skin tones, types, and concerns. Waterproof, sweat humidity resistant, transfer resistant, fade resistant, crease resistant, non-caking, and reduces the look of pores. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's talk about packaging. We have here the traditional classic Bobbi Brown packaging. Now the two shades they sent me are Warm Golden, which is W067, and then Warm Almond. My shade references are always listed down below in the description box, along with everything we talk about and I share with you today. Everything's down below in the description box. For reference, I use Golden 4 in the Vitamin Enrich Skin Tint from Bobbi Brown. This is a favorite. I love this. This is so easy for the everyday. So I'm really curious how this new foundation is gonna work. As always, Early Bird Mo is here to give you a full day wear test. So it's currently 7.38 a.m. You know, we like to start it early so we can really put it to the test all day. Because I mean, it says 24 hours. <laughs> I can't give you 24 hours, but I'll get as close as possible. <laughs> So, hi, I'm Mo, I'm 39, I have combination skin, I've got a pretty normal to dry outer perimeter, an oily T-zone, and a super dry forehead. So, I'm curious to see how this foundation is going to wear on my skin type, and I am in a humid, hot climate, I am in Florida, so I try to give you as many factors and details as possible. So, let's uh, swatch these on the face, and then we'll get into putting it on and testing it out. All right, so let's see what the Warm Almond 76 looks like. Ooh, pretty packaging. Nice glass bottle. And it comes with a pump. This is very Bobbi Brown, very sleek. Medium coverage with a semi-matte blurred finish. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Here we are, side by side. All right, so as mentioned, we are gonna do multiple methods of application. We'll do the hands, we'll do a brush, and we will do a sponge. Again, this is a medium buildable coverage with a semi-matte blurring finish, which sounds amazing. All while being comfortable and oil controlling? We will see. So I'm gonna give the product a good shake and I'll quickly give you swatches of it on the face. And let's see. So our first one is Warm Golden W076. Let's see what that looks like. Here is texture and consistency. Okay, and then W086 Warm Almond. So we're gonna give it a good shake. It feels like a very light texture, which we love. Obviously these are heavy swatches, okay? But here is what we look like. All right, let's do some swatches on the face so you can see the two. What they look like side by side. This is warm golden. And then warm almond. I feel like these are quite similar, just a 
One is a little bit lighter, one's a little bit darker, but same undertones. So Bobby Brown sent me some other goodies that I'm going to put in for our look today and I'm going to grab some of my other existing Bobby Brown products and we'll make it a, as much of a full face of Bobby Brown as possible but of course we're focusing in today on the foundation. So let it sit for a minute as I was yapping telling you the other stuff that we're going to do. So here is Warm Golden and Warm Almond. And don't mind my friend. Of course I have to have a friend visiting when I have complexion things to share. But that's okay. We'll see how the coverage goes on trying to hide this little guy away. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm done yapping. Let's get into applying it and starting our wear test for the day. So Bobby Brown sent over, I have a little card. This is called Swipe On Glow Up. <laughs> that's cute. Extra Plump Lip Serum. I love the sound of this. So this product here, it's in the shade Bare Peach, number 756, and it's said to instantly plump up lips with 24-hour moisture and non-sticky shine. Yes, please and thank you. I personally like lip plumping products because it smooths all of these lines and, you know, it gives me some moisture. So I'm going to apply this so that it can do its thing while I am putting on my foundation. And let's see. Ooh. It smells good. It doesn't have like an artificial smell. It just smells nice. My lips are already hydrated. I like it. <laughs> I'm going to be using the shade Warm Golden W076. And I'm still applying my foundations with my spatula, which has been amazing. So I just went with a pump on my palette. And now I'm going to just apply the foundation with the spatula. This really has been working out great because it really helps me not apply too much product. No tingle with that lip product. I like that a lot. So first method, this side, we're going to go in with the brush. This is a Wayne Goss brush. Unfortunately, he does not make this anymore, but it's very comparable to the liquid blender from Westman Atelier. Coverage. Hello? Ooh. That just went on the skin so easy. It feels like nothing. I've got a bit of product left on my palette here. I'm going to pick it up with my spatula. And let's build. Let's build a little. And let's see how it does that. Builds up very nicely, blends into the skin seamlessly. I love that. And really, really nice coverage. And yeah, skin is still skin, right? <laughs> Gonna go in with another pump. That wasn't a full pump, that was like a little over a half of a pump. So this side, we'll do the sponge. Look how beautiful it's just melding and literally melting in with my skin. It looks very, it does look very seamless. Very pretty. This really, you can tell, is going to be a true skin foundation. Gorgeous. The sponge just definitely does what a sponge does whenever you apply your foundation. It really lightens up the coverage. It just melts and blends it into the skin really, really nicely. So we are going to see if we can build it up right in this area where we get the little freckles who just want to pop out and say hi. <laughs> we're going to try to tuck those away a little bit. So we're going to go with just a little bit more product right where I feel I need it. 
then let's see how we build. I like that as I'm continuing to build up the product, it's not looking heavy on the skin. It's not looking like makeup. I like that a lot. <laughs> and I do also like that this lip serum, what is it called again? Extra plump lip serum. Look at that moisture. Look how hydrated and juicy my lips look. And for a plump, didn't feel a tingle or a burn. I like that a lot. All right, so here is the sponge side. The sponge side is definitely a lot more sheer. I feel like if you want less coverage, use the sponge. But good coverage. And then the brush. Okay, our favorite part, our handy dandy fingers, the tools that never leave. I'm just gonna go in with just a little bit. So I've got just a little touch on my finger and we're just gonna blend it in. Nice and easy. Wow, that definitely blended it in nice and easy. <laughs> okay, nice and close. So you can see, went on the skin nicely. I'm gonna go just a bit more. There we go. Let's blend her in. Whenever you use your hands with your makeup, you're always gonna just feel like it's just melting into your skin because you get the warmth of your hand, the warmth of contact with the skin. Nice. Yeah, that second layer really gave us some more coverage. And it really doesn't feel heavy at all. Wow. <laughs> Look how it just went into the and we are melted into just skin, nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got three different methods of application. On the forehead, I use my hands. Let me back it up a little bit, a little personal space. <laughs> okay, so on the forehead, hands. This side of the face, we use the brush. This side of the face, we use the sponge. We it all came together quite nicely. So obviously we need to do concealer and all the things and pull ourselves together and finish the look. It's still early, I'm still looking tired. <laughs> but I mean, for the most part, the base is basing. The skin is skinning very natural. And again, it feels like nothing. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my skin. That's amazing. Um, It said a, a natural matte finish. Yes, yes, natural matte and finish. What do we think? I think it still needs to dry down a little bit because it's still giving just like a skin finish, which is beautiful. We love that, but we'll keep an eye on that finish, yeah? All right, let's finish pulling the look together. Again, I said I pulled a couple of my other existing um, Bobbi Brown products. This one here is my Skin Correct Stick. Got a little darkness we need to hide, so let's hide it. A little touch of color correction and then we'll go in with concealer. Yes. Skin concealer stick. For a stick um, concealer, it's quite creamy. This one, I only have one other stick concealer that I really like because it's not drying and tuggy on the under eye. This one from Bubby Brown is a good one. Look how it just melts into the skin. Yes. I totally forgot to share this because I don't know why I wasn't recording, but I did go ahead and apply my vitamin enriched face base and vitamin enriched eye base. These are amazing. Really nice, comfortable, hydrating. You can use them as skincare, you can use them as primer. We love our multifunctional products. I'm gonna set my under eye with my Westman Atelier Vital Skin Powder. This is in the shade Pink Bubble. It's a go-to, it's what I always use for my under eye. For the rest of the face, I'm going in with the Vitamin Enriched Pressed Powder. I use the shade Peach. This is a great powder. She's very well loved. <laughs> I'm going with a light layer just to set everything. It looks great, very comfortable. It doesn't add anything. 
and it doesn't look like powder and make your uh, product cakey. Whoa, hello. All right, so this is how everything's looking after we've put a little concealer and set and then set with powder. Ignore. <laughs> and the forehead, look at the forehead. Yeah, okay. Bob Brown sent me the dual ended long wear cream eyeshadow stick. I love, where is it? Where is it? This one. This is my favorite. I've done like a few reels on Instagram and TikTok with the with this one in particular. It's my favorite color. Uh, cinnamon. This one. This is so easy. And I love that you can use your finger, you can use a brush, you can do whatever you want. It's just gorgeous for a stick shadow kind of gig which are so convenient, so easy. So they sent me this one, it's a dual ended. So we've got rusted pink, which is shimmer, and then cinnamon, which is the one I have and I love. Okay, cool. So we've got that, here's what it looks like. So cinnamon on this side and that pink one on the other. Ooh. So let's use cinnamon in the crease. And then the other one on the lid. I'm just grabbing whatever's here. It's a blending brush. So let's go in with cinnamon. Let's do swatches for you. Hello. Look how pretty. Cinnamon. And what was this one again? Rusted pink. Ooh. Yeah, that's my kind of color story right there. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pick up with the brush right off this. These are so creamy and they blend so nicely. Look at that. Ooh. Outer eye. And then whatever's left right in the crease. These wear so nice too. I don't have to touch on my eyebrows. But yeah, look at that. And of course you can apply these with your finger as well. Nice and easy. One, two, three, I gotta go. We all have days like that. <laughs> so it's nice to have products that will work with you on any kind of thing you got going on, you know? So that was cinnamon, that's a go-to, we love her. And then now rusted pink, right? Yeah, rusted pink. Same brush, just gonna pick it up. And go right over on the lid. For a nice little soft. What's fun with a stick with glitter is it's not gonna scatter and go all over the place. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Okay, let's finish up. I'm gonna go in with Moonstone just on my inner corner, just to brighten up just a little bit. Another one of these cream. Because they're just so easy, I love them. Look at that. And you're done. <laughs> Yay. We love easy. I'm gonna put on a couple coats of mascara and let's finish up our look. I always do that. We'll let it dry and then we'll flake it off. We'll stay waiting on that mascara to dry. And by the way, that was the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I'm just going in with a bit of bronzer. This one is from Hermes. This is just my go-to. We're coming along nicely. I'm gonna put on a little bit of blush. I'm going with this one from Tom Ford. It's a go-to, we love her. Soft and pretty. I feel like my eyes are like, ooh. This is like a baked gelée formulation. It's very pretty on the skin. Skin is skin. It's feeling really, really good. All of my other products played really nicely together. Go-to products, you know? Like that a lot, so. Brush side. This is the side that's a little, got a little more blemishes, including that guy who's visiting us right now. But we're looking pretty good. This side is the sponge application. Looking pretty good, too. <laughs> and then the forehead we went in with the hands for application. I like that I still can see my skin. I'm very comfortable. Everything feels very lightweight and all my other products, like I said, everybody's playing nice together. <laughs> all right, let's get this wear test started. I'll see you and let's see how, 
how we do. <laughs> We're going to put it to the test. Hi. We are out. We are testing this foundation in this heat. It's 100 degrees. It's 132. And here we are. Oh my goodness. I cannot tell you how amazing this feels on the skin. How comfortable. How light. I feel like nothing. And I feel pretty good. I feel like I look smooth and covered but still skin like it's gorgeous it's gorgeous this is the side we use the brush we got the visitor and then i feel like this is the side where i have more imperfections this is the side i use the sponge and this is where i use my hands oh, i still feel really good i really feel good comfortable nice so that's that for now i will see you again later and we'll check in and we'll see but i mean so far so good <laughs> hi good night <laughs> really i'm ready for bed um it's the end of the day hi hey siri what time is it it's 9 48 p.m and here we are i'm just gonna let the new Bobbi Brown Weightless Skin Foundation. Speak for itself. I'm gonna get close, I'm gonna share with you how everything is looking. I'll share my thoughts. But really quick, <laughs> these Bobbi Brown Cream Stick Shadows, what are they called officially? The Cream Shadow Sticks. My go-to favorite is Cinnamon. I've shared reels and TikToks and things with this. like. I have heavy folds in my eyes and these don't crease. These don't budge. These hold up all day, long days. We started this makeup look at seven in the morning, call it eight almost, and it's almost 10 o'clock at night. The glitter's still intact, still looks beautiful. These are some of the best. So if you're into products like this that are just easy and that really hold you down and really do what they say they're gonna do, these are it. I've tried a lot of products like this, but these are like the true standouts. These work really, really well. <laughs> Just had to throw that in there really quick. Really happy that I could share that with you. Touching on the lip serum. Obviously we need to reapply, <laughs> but this was really nice. This was nice. This wore well. As far as like the plump on this, it isn't anything excessive or over the top. I find it to really hydrate my lips enough to the point where everything is smooth and nice and nourished and comfortable. So I do like this product as well a lot too of the newer products that we tried today. All right, so those are the little guys, the little new guys I wanted to just touch on really quick because they performed too today and I didn't want to forget them. But let's, because this new Weightless Skin Foundation, I think for the most part, it held up really well. Now, the reason I always do multiple methods of application is obviously I want to share with you, because we all have different preferences on how we apply our makeup, I want to share with you how all of that will look. And I also want to share with you how all of that will perform and wear throughout the day. Now, again, I am combination skin. I have dry to normal, oily T-zone, and a very dry forehead. Now, I did put it to the test on a majority of the claims, so I just want to make sure I touch on everything. So... Waterproof, we didn't do that. I did kind of touch on the sweat and humidity because it was like a hundred something degrees outside and that did get a little misty. And I think everything still held up very well. Transfer resistant. Yeah, I didn't have an issue with it rubbing off on anything. And majority of the time I do wear like very light colored um, clothing. I hugged my husband, I hugged my kids. I don't think I got makeup on them. <laughs> Fade resistant. Now, even on my nose, where I am the most shiny, as you can see, I still have product. I still have product intact all over, so that's a yes. All right, so again, this is claimed to be medium buildable coverage with a matte blurred finish. The finish on this was beautiful. It was a very soft matte. It was a natural matte. All right, again, I'm going to let the product speak for itself, all right, as I share what I experienced with you throughout the day. All right, because it goes Hair is a little frizzy. <laughs> it was really hot out there today. All right, hi, here we are. Hello, here's how everything's looking. Again, the forehead is where we did hand application. This is the side I applied with my sponge and this is the side I applied with the brush. Throughout the day, I kept an eye on everything because I wanted to see 
which side did what, who, what, when, where, right? One thing I will say is I found this, the area that I applied with my hand to look the best consistently from start, beginning, putting it on all the way till now. I feel consistently my forehead looked the best and that was hand application. Second to that in performance, I found the sponge side to look the best. Um, as skin-like as possible, because again, this is the weightless skin foundation. When you tell me this is skin in a bottle, I'm looking for skin in a bottle. But if there's a way to really truly have it perform as such, why not share it with you? You know what I mean? Now, the side that I applied with my brush, and again, this is a very loose uh, buffing, blending type of brush. This is amazing. Um, puts product on without it being heavy. I use it all the time. That's the side I found to look the most makeup-y. Like, I don't want to go as far as say cakey, but I will say it looked the most like makeup. It didn't look as smooth and as melted into the skin throughout the wearing of the day and all of the things. Um, yeah. <laughs> and this is the side I have the most blemishes on. I've got a little guy cooking. I've got the most when it comes to my freckles and my sunspots on this side. So I usually go in with more coverage on this side in general, but this is the side I found to be that looked the most heavy as far as application methods. So I, based on my experience, and you can see for yourself, is I found the side with the sponge and hand application to wear the best for this long day that we really put this to the test. Because again, this is a 24 hour claiming, gonna stay intact, gonna do all the things I product. So hey, hi, hi, you know. Uh, oil absorbing. Helps control oil and shine without stripping moisture. The foundation itself, upon application, is comfortable. It feels good. It doesn't feel drying, although it's that soft matte finish blurring gig. Um, and it does have properties and ingredients that are gonna keep your oils at bay. Yes, but these oils here on my nose are like impossible. <laughs> so they did come through, but overall the other areas of my face I think held up well as well. We do have settling in the smile lines, but that's not a deal breaker for me. I feel like I want my face to look like it moves, <laughs> but it is something to note. So again, here's a nice little look-see at the face. Again, at almost 10 o'clock at night, wearing the new Bobbi Brown foundation all day. I will say of the two foundations, I found warm golden to work a little bit better. Overall, a nice addition to the Bobbi Brown foundation base makeup family. Beautiful packaging. It did perform quite well. I think that me being able to share the different methods of application, you see for yourself how the product performed. It'll help you decide if it's something that you want to try and how you want to try it and how you want to approach it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know what you guys think about this new product. As always, thank you so much for spending your time with me today, allowing me to share these new products with you. And thank you to Bobby Brown for sending them over to me to share with you guys. Please take a moment to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.